Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missledine Online. That's me, that's my channel. What's going on? Welcome! This is episode blah blah blah. It's been so long since I've recorded an episode that I literally don't remember what episode this is off the top of my head when I sit down to record this. But don't worry, it'll be in the title. You're welcome. Anyways, uh, today we are going to head into the Shrine of Shirley. Now, you could actually do this dungeon incredibly fast, uh, and there is a way to do that, which I'm going to show you. Uh, and then I'm going to go through it as fast as possible for anybody that's lost, uh, and then I will show you, like, everywhere else we could go, if that makes sense. Uh, I think that's the best way to tackle this dungeon in this, this area. So, hey, thank you guys for your patience on this video, and uh, I hope you really enjoy it. Let's, let's head into the Shrine of Shirley. Now, if you need a refresher, Shayna, after the uh, the battle with Fairbrand and, 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 and Graham, uh, she ended up getting sick, but not of body, but of mind. And the only way that the doctor at Lohan said that we could rescue her is by heading to the Shrine of Shirley, where there is rumored to be a plant known as the Dragoni plant, which will cleanse her of the dragon's toxin. So that's why we're here. We're here to save her. She is in a coma over in Lohan. Uh, so we're here. Now, you'll notice that there's a chest behind me up on that platform. Don't worry about any of the chest in this in this dungeon. I'll tell you the ones that you can get. All of these, if you try to go get them, they will be empty. So we'll step forward. That is... What's up? Hmm. A sculpture of a dragon. Dragoon. I hope nothing bad will happen. Take out your Dragoon Spirits. Oh! They are resonating together. It means there's a Dragoon in there? Go see it with your own eyes. Let's move on. Interesting. So it looks like over here at the Shrine of Shirley, there may be a Dragoon that we have to face. Very, very interesting. Now, you're going to notice, as soon as we get in here, uh, it almost looks like a temple that has been, like, rigged up. And that's because it has. So, I am going to, like I said, lead you directly the fastest way to get through here, which is up these stairs right in the back. And then I'll explain how to solve all of these puzzles later, or how you would. But essentially, we want to head up here. Probably going to get into a battle. We'll come talk to this. What is this? There are three rotary plates, all with numbers from one to five. Hmm. It seems like a kind of apparatus with a numerical lock. You try, Dart. The first number is... Three. The second number is... Uh, five. And the final number is two. And that, my friends, will drop down a gate that we need to go to. I did it! Yes, you did, Dart. Yes, you did, big guy. So we're going to go up here. We're going to oh, we're gonna use this to go up to these stairs, which will automatically put us up here. And we will find these two statues. We want to turn this one to the left. And we want to turn this one, the gold one, to the front. So silver will be facing the gold one, and gold will be facing where we just came in. And then we can actually use these stairs. If you don't do that, these stairs will actually turn into a slide, and you'll go all the way down. If you continue up, you will face a boss, and that is it. That is it for the Shrine of Shirley. Uh, so I'm going to go and show you guys like how I got here uh, and what, what the puzzles are. They stay the same no matter what. That's not randomized. It will always be 352, so you can literally do this... Uh, Easy peasy. So what we'll do is I'll head over here just to show you where to go. I also want to show you the enemies that we can fight in this area because some of them are actually pretty unique. Uh, so right over here, you'll see a chest. If we use this chest, bye bye. It'll drop us down into the roller coaster, which you saw when you first walked in. It was like a big spiral around the, the central uh, column. This will actually go through the entire area. And as we go on screen, it will actually tell you the number of the lock in order so this is how you find it right three shows up real quick so you have to pay attention uh five there's five and two wow and that will actually throw us all the way back to the very, very beginning. 
of the Shrine of Shirley, which is why I wanted to do it now. What, what was that? Eh, it was a good time. We had fun, man. We had fun. <laughs> uh, so now we'll continue out. We should be getting into a random battle. There we are. So there are four eyed enemies that we can find here. The Kristen Golem, the Gargoyles, which are just appearing before our faces right now, Strongman, and Plague Rats. Now these Gargoyles do do, con do, do <laughs> considerable damage. Uh, they are darkness elements, so anything that is uh, strong against darkness, like light, is really going to hurt them. They have 100 health, give about 17 experience. <laughs> And die in one hit from Rose. <laughs> uh, but these guys are actually not quite what I'm looking for. There's another one that I really, really want to show you. So let's go ahead and get Lavitz's, uh additions in there. Remember, it's very important at this point of the game that we are working on our, uh, our additions in, in pretty much everything else. Uh, levels, additions, all that jazz. So I highly recommend, when you're here in the Shrine of Shirley, I highly, highly recommend spending some time to at least get to level, uh, level, your next level. Like, gain a level just from fighting random enemies. It'll be worth it, trust me. You also want to work on your additions, and I'll show you why. All right, I'm gonna, you sit right there, I'll show you why. Come over here to this dragon sculpture. It's resonating again. Complete full heal. I feel refreshed, my fatigue is gone. Resonance has that effect. Interesting. So we are fully healed from that Dragoon Spirit sculpture thing. So I'm going to head over here to the right just to show you uh, this area. So if we come down here, there's actually another sculpture that we can use. Um, so as you can see, you can pretty much heal up everywhere in this in this little dungeon. So I uh, just wanted to point out that that is there as well. So over here is where we get the clue about the statue facing the left. And give up, will ya? All of the chests, like I said, that you open will be empty and they'll just tell you to get out. It's a waste to go further. So there's another chest up there, but it's just a clue to tell us to leave. So we're not gonna worry about going up there. But I wanted to show you guys the clues and how you would actually solve it if you didn't know where to go. All right, and now we have two plague rats, which are earth elementals, and a strong man, which is also an earth elemental. A uh, hundred health on the strong man. The little plague rats have 64 health. They should go down pretty easy. We're actually going to use Rose to focus down the strong man here. 74 damage out of Rose. I think we're going to go ahead and finish him off when it's Lavitz's turn. Oh no! I was hoping he wouldn't run away. Uh, because then we just lose we just lose the XP, you know? Burning rush out of dart for 72 total damage. Looking good, my friend. Uh, of course these plague rats don't have much health or uh <laughs> Defense, so they'll get they'll get defeated really. Quick. 153 Lavitz! Oh my God, you're a man! Oh, that's so much damage, boys. Uh, so we got a body purifier off of that fight. That's pretty cool. Uh, we don't need it, so no. There we go. Don't hit no. Hit yes. <laughs> Jeez Louise. So we're gonna head all the way over here to the one room that we did not go to, which is this one. Uh, to find out what do we do with the gold head that we already, you know, did stuff to. Um, so another thing right here. Welcome, uh, welcome after coming all the way here. Good boy. Now get out! Okay, that's rude. So we can come over here, use this. Which will open that gate down there. And then we can pop across here. And you'll actually see that there's another chest here. Um, unfortunately, we got into a random encounter. As I was saying, we can go ahead and check this, which there's nothing in here. Don't you get it? I'm starting to understand, yeah, dude. So I want to check something for my additions real quick, just to see. Burning Rush is almost maxed out. Six more and Burning Rush will be maxed out, which is super, super good for us. Uh, Spinning Cane is at 68 out of 80. Beautiful. I would love to switch to Rod Typhoon before we finish this dungeon. Rose, of course, is sitting at a pretty maxed out uh, Whip Schmack because she can't really do anything else now, can she? Uh, so we want to head back where we were. Now, we can go ahead and use this real quick. Oh no, it's gone! Exactly, we actually just opened up the panel so that this now is gone. Uh, we can we can no longer use that to level, uh, to fully heal. Statue facing front. So there you go, there's the answer. That tells you that you need to get to the statue that faces the front. Or turn the statue to the front. 
So like I said, I definitely recommend spending some time leveling up. I'm gonna do that real quick and I will be right back, beautifuls. Oh, good, an enemy that I was actually looking to show you guys, the Crystal Golem. Now here's the deal. This is a light elemental. Uh, so any um, of Rose's dark elemental attacks are going to do a lot of damage. So what we're gonna do uh, is right off the bat, we're actually going to use the magic Sig, Sig Stone on the on these the, every time on the crystal golem just because they have a very no, uh, annoying status effect that they can use called uh, stunned um, really 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 annoying they also do some pretty decent damage so uh, we're going to say nah I'm not dealing with that and instead uh, we're gonna hit him with labits and uh, in dart try to do as much damage as we possibly can see he can't move wonderful. The Crystal Golem, by the way, does have 160 health and very, very high defense. Uh, lucky for us, this should be the end of him. And that was our 75th edition out of uh, out of Dart for Burning Rush. So we're almost done with Burning Rush, which is fantastic. And finally, the last enemy that we can find here in the Shrine of Shirley, the Living Statue. It's Earth-based, has 51 HP, but a ton of defense. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit this. It also gives the most XP in the entire place, um, besides, of course, the Crystal Golem. So not bad, not bad, especially if you can get into a fight with multiple of the Living Statue. Uh, Lavitz was, unfortunately, able to kill him in one attack, so okay. Uh, but he did drop a detonate rock for us, which is actually gonna be pretty darn cool and something that I am going to grab uh, for the next fight that we have coming up. I am actually going to use that. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of a body purifier uh, and perfect, done. And with that, I am satisfied. Lavitz is now level 12. That satisfies me greatly. That sounds gross. All right, so now that I am <laughs> fully satisfied, uh, I know my additions are pretty darn close. Uh, luckily, Dart will actually cap on the next boss fight, uh, which is fine. And um, yeah, Lavitz probably will too. So I think that's great. We're just gonna move forward with that then and we'll go back up the stairs to where I opened all of this up to begin with. We'll head up here. Oh, hello. And uh, and we'll, we'll finish off the Shrine of Shirley, my friend. So let's head up up the stairs we do have a little bit a little bit toughy of a boss fight coming up it can be a uh, hit or miss and it's also uh one that is this not oh that's okay i was gonna say hello so if you leave the area and come back you do have to fix these i was very confused there must be some tricks uh but anyways uh that's i wanted just to sh oops uh i wanted just to show you what would happen if you uh if you walked up the stairs with uh, without doing this of course I actually did not know that that didn't save, so that actually does go away if you leave the area. Keep that in mind. All right, so there's another treasure chest down there. Again, we're going to skip it. Instead, we're going to walk into the save point. Uh, hello? And we're going to go ahead and we're going to save the game. And let's head up here. Luckily, we won't get in any fights. And get ready. We have a kind of tough boss fight, my friends. Kind of tough boss fight. What? Oh my god, that noise. It's amazing you made it through the traps, but your luck is over, because I won't let you go further. Come on, try your sword. Wait, we're just here to look for the Dragoni plant. We don't want to fight. You want me to believe that? You must be after the treasure, aren't you? That's not it. It's quicker to beat him. You thieves, now you reveal your true selves. Prepare yourselves. That was a fun voice to do. Anyways, this is Drake the Bandit, my friends, who no matter what, don't listen to anybody, he does not drop the bandit shoes. It is not something that he does. No, 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 he drops the bandit's ring. So we are going to go ahead and stay, do not dragoon form yet. We are going to stay in our normal form and we're going to smack a Drake the Bandit up a little bit. Just smack him up a little bit. Now he has about 1,200 health and he is weak to wind. Very, very good for us. Uh, but we just want to put some additions into him. Just, just, just make him, just make him take some damage. That's all. Now, realistically, you could go ahead and pop a special out of, out of whatever, uh, which, you know what? 
Do you guys want to get a little crazy? Let's get a little crazy. Let's pop a special, Dragoon special. We're going to use Lavitz though so that he gets a full D attack. There you go. That is our first time using a Dragoon special, by the way. It actually changes to their terrain. So we can go ahead and use uh, use our dear friend Lavitz. Watch how much damage this does. It is a perfect, it's straight up perfect. Watch, I don't have to do anything. Watch how much damage. Two hundred and thirty-one damage out of Lavitz. Uh, now Rose is actually going to use Astral Drain, uh, Drain on uh, <laughs> Drain, Drain on Drake the Bandit here. Astral Drain. Watch how much damage Astral Drain does, my friends. Yeah, perfect. 216 out of Rose on that Astral Drain. So he's going to go ahead and attack us with his normal way. Don't worry, the fight gets a little bit harder, my friends. Uh, now, I'm actually going to go ahead and use uh, D attack for Dart as well. Even though I'm horrible at these. See what I mean? Uh, even though I'm horrible at it, I really, really just want to uh, save some magic from Dart. I'll show you one of my best traps! And he will pull out three bombs! Now, this is a wonderful opportunity to use any uh, attack all magic, or my friends, maybe even a little uh, death dimension. Uh, maybe a little death dimension. Seriously, use death dimension, it will literally one hit KO all of the bombs. The bursting balls. They have about 70 health each. And uh, it will also do damage to Drake. Like, pretty, pretty considerable damage to Drake. Death dimension. I love this. Pop lock and drop it, girl. Lo oh, fantastic. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Now, if you start beating on Drake a little too hard, he will uh, actually uh, heal himself as soon as he hits the red. But don't worry, we have a strategy to take care of him. So I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm actually going to just de-attack Drake again, just because that 200 and something damage is just ridiculously good. Now we will lose the terrain little area, the green swirly stuff after this. But again, I mean, if you can do a 230 something attack, it's gonna be real nice. Now he will heal himself. He definitely, definitely will heal himself. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use Dart's Flame Shot, I think, here. Just because... Just because he is in the red. And potentially, if I can do enough damage here, we might actually be able to end the fight right now before he heals himself. Which would be very, very cool. Hundred and ten damage out of Dart. Beautiful. Not enough to end Drake, but still. Now, let's see what he's going to do. Fine, but how about this? And now he's going to throw up a wire. Now, you cannot attack him through this wire, so I don't recommend it. Instead, you have to destroy the wire. The wire only has 150 health. So it is very, very possible to destroy uh, that. However, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Detonate Rock on both of those. Use those on both for Rose. This way we can still keep some damage out while, uh, while you know, uh, attacking the, the wire as well. So I'm gonna also have Dart cast uh, Detonate Rock, mostly to get rid of those. And Drake is gone. Look at how easy, my friends. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What'd I tell you guys? Ah, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do the fight again. 
but 1500 experience. That's beautiful. I do recommend keep doing this fight over and over until you get the bandit's ring. Um, if you're getting really unlucky with it, then don't bother. Yes! Okay, so on my second try, uh, I was able to get the bandit's ring, which is a very, very good accessory uh, that increases the speed of any male that we have on the team. Super, super good for Lavitz, guys. Uh, and of course, we did get the experience, but nobody leveled up. The bandit's ring. Oh, how beautiful. I have to protect Shirley or... <gasps> what? Drake, it's okay now. People with Dragoon spirits, why are you disturbing my quiet moment? What are you? We are not here for that. We are here to save our friend's life. Life of your friend. Do you remember me? been on your sad journey since then. You too, Shirley. Won't you spare me some Dragoni plant? Shayna is suffering from dragon's poison. Dragon? Oh, they are still clinging to life. Unfortunately, I don't have any Dragoni plant. Oh, man. Then what about Shayna? There is one way to save her. I'll try anything, just tell me. D dragoon spirit? A dragon's poison can be removed with the dragoon spirit of a white silver dragon, which is filled with healing magic. A white silver dragon. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of colors. Now, I will challenge you to see if you deserve this Dragoon Spirit. Shall we begin? Try to overcome me. If you cannot do it, the girl's fate is to die. All right, so now we have a second boss fight this time. It is against the one, the only, Shirley. Don't worry, it's not a real, real boss fight. It's actually pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. So during this fight, we are actually just going to guard the entire time. Now, you could use this if you wanted to attack Shirley. Uh, you could actually decide to and hit her with additions. You're not going to be able to do anything to her, but it does count towards leveling your additions. Keep that in mind. She will attack if you attack her. Just, just saying. You could do that over and over if you wanted. This is Dancing Ray, the... Uh, spell that she's using against us is light baits. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I wouldn't even attack her. Dart, Lavitz, why do we fight? This is important. To protect those we love. Dart, bear your heart to me. Shayna. So, we're gonna go ahead and just keep guarding, because we, we don't want to possibly attack Shayna, right? And this boss fight is mostly just a majority of questions. Dart, I have been waiting. Why did you leave without saying a word? To pursue the black monster. The black monster? Keep guarding. It also just makes the turns go by faster. Dart, what are you going to do after you find the black monster? Of course, get revenge! Revenge? Keep guarding. Super important, but basically we're just answering all of these questions correctly. Please, forget about revenge and be with me. The dark monster or me, Dart? Obviously, Shayna. Really? Dart, I'm so happy. Hmm. Lavitz, show me what you believe. How cool is this, man? Albert! 
Prince Albert. Lavitz, what are you doing here? Forget Shayna and go back. That's not like you. Are you disobeying my order? Oh my. Tough guy. Lavitz, are you disobeying my order? Choosing one over many? Shayna needs me. Lavitz, well said. That's the renowned knight of Sergio. Life is precious, whether it's one or many. Help out with Shayna. Interesting. Dart, advancing will bring truth as well as ordeals, and you still want to go. No matter what, I will go. Brave young people, what you'll see is all the truth. Never gaze away, only total acceptance brings you to the way. Lavitz, I ask you, who is the most important person for you to protect? Mother. It's human to care about parents. You are human before being a knight. Parents care for children, and a child yearns for its parent. The bonding makes us human strong. Don't forget you have somebody waiting for you. Lastly, Rose, I ask you, what does life mean to you? Nothing but sacrifice. Rose, I see the end to your agonizing journey. The young man there will awaken the old you and lead you to the future. Now, illuminate the dark road with my white silver dragoon spirit, the new dragoons. Yeah, a legend of the new dragoons, more like it. And we get the Silver Stone in 1500 experience, even though we didn't do shit. And that means everybody is now level 13. Good for us. No new additions yet. One more level. Potentially. Who knows? Acquired the White Silver Dragoon Spirit. That was beautiful. Take this with you, as I promised. But I have one favor to ask. He has protected my peace from countless attempts by bandits. He stood up to you for me. Please, save Drake. I don't have an entity, so I cannot draw on the power of the spirit. But I don't feel any power holding it like this. Hold it up with the spirit of the red-eye dragon spirit. Hmm. Does it work? This is... Your red-eye dragon draws the healing power of the white silver dragoon spirit. Uh... uh am I alive? Ugh. Good. We can save her with this. Dart, gazing at the truth sometimes brings pain, and you will be able to overcome it. Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye, Shirley. Farewell, Rose. I am looking forward to the date our roads of fate cross again. Shirley? She is headed to the place where she belongs. Let's go. Shayna's waiting. Hmm. Very interesting. So Rose and Shirley clearly know each other from some time. Look at Drake running around. Shirley, where did you go? Oh, go back in this room. Super important. Remember all of those chests that have been all over the place? Hey, yo, listen. They're all in here, my friends, and this is where this is where you can open them all. No issues. No one's gonna stop you. Yeah. All of the treasures that were spread out through the shrine are actually all sitting in here. Uh, a bunch of those that have 20G. This one that has a healing breeze, which is very useful. This one that has a demon stiletto, my friends, for the one and only Rose. Another 20G, and this one, I believe, also contains 20G. So we got all of the items that we could get here in the Shrine of Shirley, and right away, right away, we are gonna go over to Rose, and we are, we are, oops, um, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna go over to Rose, and we are going to, uh, one, get rid of the thing that I just equipped her with, uh, which is, uh, yeah. 
Steaming Stiletto. Look at the damage. Oh, it's beautiful. Frightens enemies with a given probability. Beautiful. Um, and right away, I'm also going to go over to our dear friend Lavitz, and I'm going to throw him the Bandit's Ring. Look at his speed increase, though. Uh, from 40 to 20. Uh, 20 extra 20 points up to 60. Uh, that is very, very strong. I'm actually also going to, instead of the Elude Cloak, I'm actually going to throw the Power Wrist onto, uh, onto Miss Rose. And I think, I think that's actually a pretty good... I think we'll, we'll, we'll not do anything else there. We'll lose 10 if we try to do the elude cloak on Dart. It's not that big of a deal. So we'll continue out. And now we'll head all the way back to the world map because we are done with Shrine of Shirley, which is very, very cool. In fact, actually, let's check our additions real quick because Dart might have actually two more and he will do that. Four more and Labitz will have maxed out Spinning Cane and he'll be able to switch to Rod Typhoon. Finally. Uh, so I'm going to save real quick because we did get the bandit's ring and I would hate for something to go horribly wrong. Perfect. Let's leave, baby. So we want to head back to Lohan now because, of course, we have something that we know is going to rescue Shayna. What's interesting is will Shayna become a dragoon? Will she become the white silver dragon dragoon? Spirit dragoon? I don't know. Maybe. And Dart's Dragoon level increased, and he learned the Magic Attack Final Burst. That's because we've been using Burning Rush, and that's why he's been able to get a Dragoon level of three already. It just does so much. It gives you so much SP. So much SP. So let's get out of here. Let's continue on the way. Super cool that he already hit that. Final Burst is very, very good. Very strong. Uh, I don't know how often we'll use it. We'll see, but we are... We are so close to getting out of here. Let's go, my friends, and let's head towards the door. Again, we want to get to the world map as soon as possible. Not that it's that big of a deal, but... And with this fight, my friends, we will actually max out Burning Rush on Dart, meaning we can potentially go back to Volcano. Uh, and uh, I think Lavitz might also be very, very close to maxing out his, uh, his, rod uh, his Spinning Cane, which means Rod Typhoon is coming. Let's actually find out. I believe that this is either going to be his last or second to last. Unfortunately, he killed it in one hit, so we're not totally going to be able to find out. Oh, come on! Let's get the heck out of here. We are so close, guys. So close to getting our additions up with Dart. Like, he's one away. And, uh, oh, look! Our dear friend Labitz is done! His spinning cane is already learned. So we're going to go ahead and switch to Rod Typhoon. And you guys will get to see how horrible I am at, uh, at making Rod Typhoon. You guys will you guys will find out in the next episode, of course, because we are done with this episode of The Legend of Dragoon. I do apologize uh, for the delay. Thank you guys for dealing with that. Um, I will be back uh, probably this vi next video. If you're seeing this, it should be up tomorrow. Um, and uh, we will be ready to proceed to Lohan where some uh, some events are going to kick off and it's really, really going to get uh, pretty, pretty hefty hefty stuff is going to be happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I would love to see you guys over in my live streams over on twitch.tv slash online if you guys have never been there. The link is in the description. I also started an IRL channel where I keep uploading some vlogs and stuff that I've been doing lately. So if you're like, where's the next Legend of Dragoon or whatever, um, that's where uh, I'm uploading every single day. So I am on uh, my IRL channel as well. And of course, for just a dollar a month, you can support the channel over on patreon.com and get early access to these videos. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to Drake the Bandit.